Hello to all of my Libras. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading, Libras. Let's go. This reading is for the 13th of uh, August through the 13th of September. That's right. The moon is moving from Gemini into Cancer. I'm going to put the, the questions below um, so that you all will have those questions. The moon moving from Gemini to Cancer. So Gemini, when the moon is in Gemini, your primary, uh, your your what feeds you is verbal contact or learning, reading, information exchange as part of your daily routine. So think of it this way, Libra. Everything that has access to your universe, person, place, a thing, whether it's a job, every energy that has access to your universe, or do you feel like the, the messages are being communicated properly? And then as it moves into cancer, do you feel nurtured, protected, and secure in those relationships, right? So... When you feel like, <clears throat> when you feel like you know you've communicated certain things, do you feel like people received those messages in the way that you intended them, or did you receive the message in the way that they intended them? Did you have a conversation about it? Do you feel protected, secure, and 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 nurtured in those relationships? If you don't, did you communicate that right? It could be in your personal life or your professional life or both, right? But let's—I mean, personal and professional life, not or. But let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's go. So here we have the three of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the world card, and the, and the page of swords. Somebody may be, somebody may be closing out a job, um, closing out the emotions attached to a job. So let's say what I mean by that. Here we have the three of pentacles. So source is saying to you, everything is perfectly aligned with your money, but somebody may have been putting too much emotion into their job. Like my manager doesn't like me and, you know, I don't like this place or whatever the case may be. But source is saying you're not there to be liked. You're there to do your job. So put all of that extra emotion, which is also your creativity, into a business, right? So here we have the two of pentacles that you've already been approved for some kind of a, a business. I some source has been sending somebody some business ideas. So all of that people don't like me, you know, this and that in my personal professional life or whatever. Source is like get rid of all of that. If you're working on a job and you feel like you know what, you better serve somewhere else, either find another job or source is saying because no matter what, if you got all of this emotion and my manager's this and the people don't like me and all of that going on, then you're wasting your creativity. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your money. That's what Source is saying. It's like, cut it out. The anxiety is going to go away real quick because somebody's going to say, all of this energy that I'm putting into this job, I could have started my own business by now. All this creativity that I'm putting into this job, all of this emotion that I'm putting into this job, I'm here because I'm qualified. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do on this job to get this paycheck, and but I'm going to use this money to fund my business. It's that simple for somebody. So a source is saying somebody is closing out this, like somebody is getting, this world card is like, I fulfilled my, I fulfilled my time of putting all of this extra emotion into something. It's time for me to grow my money. It's time for me to be um, uh, financially independent for somebody. That's what I'm saying for you all labor. So something, something needs to be closed out. Something having to do with somebody spending so much of their time thinking about something. It could also be too, that somebody is spending a lot of emotion on, a a friendship or romantic relationship, something having to do with somebody that you allowed to get that close to your heart. So it's just like close out the cycle. So it's, it's harvest time for you all. So you can start putting all that creativity into making money, starting another business. You could already be an entrepreneur and sources like somebody spending so much time on relationships and, you know, getting mixed signals and not feeling nurtured and protected and whatever, whether it's a romantic relationship, family relationship or whatever, but something is, something has been causing somebody some anxiety to a point where you can't even think creatively. How can you make, how can you earn more money? So source is saying, get your rest. Here we have the two of coins, the four of swords, with four swords came out first, the two of coins, the seven of coins, nine of cups, 10 of cups, and also the sun card. So source says, stay in your light. It could have something to do with family. That's why I said something close to your heart could have something to do with family. Like and you all are relationship signs. So if it has to do something with family, whether it's, you know, husband, wife, partner, you know, mom, dad, kids, whatever the case may be, source is saying, step back for a minute. Look at how much of your emotions you're pouring into something. And if it feels like 
uh, the communication is there's some like some some mixed messages in the communication. Now it's time to be more effective in the communication. Now it's time to say, I see their point of view. Okay, start seeing your point of view, Libra. <laughs> look at look at self. Okay, I don't feel like my messages are crystal clear. So I need to make it a I need to make a very clear point. I'm saying wish fulfillment for you. I'm telling you that the ball is in your court and things are actually in your favor. So the more clear and concise and effective you are with your communication instead of, well, I got to give people the benefit of the doubt. No, you don't. If you've already given certain people the benefit of the doubt and they still not getting the message. I'm saying wish fulfillment. It's time to make your demands. I don't know. There's no other way I can say it. It's time for you to make your demands. So source is saying to you, here we have the two of coins, both sources saying to you, it could be two energies in particular that for you, you've been wasting a lot of time thinking about something. It could be whatever the two energies are, fear and doubt about people, places, certain people, places and things. It can be uncertainty. It could be some addiction. It could be whatever it is. Source is saying it's harvest time for you. Here was a seven of coins. So source has been trying to grow somebody's money. You just need to get your rest. Because what I'm seeing here in the cards for you is that somebody is so busy giving everybody else the benefit of the doubt that you forgot the first somebody is you. Somebody forgot that the first person that needs benefit of the doubt is you. You're the first person. <laughs> so that's what Source is trying to help somebody to see is like, you know, you, you, can, you can pray all you want to. But if you're not putting some kind of action and operating in faith, you, you just... Faith without good works is dead. Somebody, I know everybody has heard that scripture, but it's the truth. Faith, you can have, you can have all of the hoping and wishing, burning candles, uh, supercharging your crystals and gemstone. But if you are not taking some kind of action towards something that you want and making room, meaning sacrificing fear and replacing that fear with faith, then you just sit there. I've done everything I could possibly. I don't know what else I need to do except addressing the person directly. Like I said, there's a leadership position waiting for somebody out in the universe, but somebody is complaining. Somebody could be still complaining about the job until, until you take some kind of action. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. Here we have temptations. I knew this the devil card was going to come out. Temptations, four of swords, queen of wands, ten of cups. We have the three of cups. We also have the nine of swords. Source is saying to you, the nightmare can end whenever you want it to end. Two situations in particular, you know, has been a nightmare for somebody. And Source is saying the enemy is right there hoping that you're going to crack, hoping that you are going to. But see, the, the thing about this is that we know that Source created the enemy, right? Because whenever you're on the cusp of something big happening in your life, okay, here comes the test, right? Your only goal is I'm going to pass this test. I'm going to pass this test. I'm going to stop being overly fair with energies in my life that I've had conversations with a thousand and one times, and I need to take some kind of action, right? So here we have the 10 of cups. So source is saying it's time for you to get around some other creative, some other nurturing energies. You know, the 10 of cups came out twice. You know, it's time for you to be in spaces where you feel nurtured, secure, and protected in those spaces so that you can feel like, okay, I feel it's such a good space. So I don't feel like, okay, I'm so emotionally drained that I'm going to say something that's going to, that's going to really hurt somebody deep. So let me get around some, let me get in some happy, good spaces, some other creative spaces. So when it's time for me to talk, I had a clearer mind and a clearer head, and I know exactly what nurtures my spirit so that when I go back into that job or go back into that family relationship, Relationship or have to talk to the, the co-parent or whatever it is that you have to do, I can do it with a clear, clear and concise, effective message. And I'm leading in love. I'm leading in love, right? With love, right? So you can wake yourself up from the nightmare at any time because overthinking you, is somebody's like, it's, it's, if you can think of it this way, Libra, it's like um, putting extra air to soil and there's no growth there. So I'm going to say or do something that's going to cut somebody so deep. That's not effective when the whole purpose is for all of us to grow from each other or to learn and grow and glean from each other. Healthy ways, though, right? So Source is saying it's time for you to celebrate something. Something is coming across. Some kind of blessing is coming across where somebody's going to be celebrating something. And so, but the enemy is right there trying to test somebody. And where you get healed is in your light, in your purpose. What is your create? What is your creative life force? What is what's the reason why you're here on earth? Here we have the Queen of Wands, and while you are waiting, happy, charismatic, and free. 
That's what that's what I'm seeing right here in your card. So you got it. You you got it under control. I'm telling you, Libra. You know, good things are happening for you all around you. But again, if 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 you got all of this, it's like a, a drought for somebody. Like somebody feels like I'm so stressed out. It's time for you to get around some some friends where you feel nurtured, you feel protected, and you feel secure around those energies. So okay, this is what this is what a well nurtured garden feels like. This is what it feels like when I can plant some seeds with this. I, I'm creatively, I'm thinking all kinds of great, you know, I'm getting all these great ideas. I don't feel like there's a I don't feel like there's a blockage in terms of, you know, what type of business I should start or how I should grow my money. I'm around other people who are also like brainstorming and coming up with some great ideas. I'm getting a lot of good energy from that. But when I think about certain other things, there's been a nightmare in my life. Okay, that's going to give me the power that I need to say, okay, now I know where the blockage is. The blockage for somebody could be I'm on a job that creatively I feel like it stunts my growth, okay? So guess what? Instead of me focusing on that, I'm going to focus on the fact that I can use that same creativity where I feel like I'm being, my, growth, my growth is being stunted working for somebody else's company, go there, do my job. I can do that job with my eyes closed, make my money, and I can take that same creativity and put it in my own business. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. So you don't have to stress yourself out in situations. Because like I said, I see the per And so then that, then that same job where you're working on, you're talking about you think somebody don't like you and trying to block your growth and all of that. All of a sudden, it's the perfect job for you. All of a sudden, it's the perfect job for you because you're not, you know what your purpose is. My purpose there for somebody is to educate other people. So I'm doing my job as an educator. And I can educate somebody in my business and, and it, or the business that you're creating for yourself and making a lot of money at it. So Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Wands. Here we have the Devil card again, the Magician card, and also the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles came out twice. Again, double harvest time. It's two energies in particular for somebody that, like I said before, the more you think about it, the more it stunts your growth, your, your growth of your money, Right. And so here we have the devil card. So these people can definitely, whoever these energies are, are really appealing to somebody's demons. Fear, doubt, uncertainty, some kind of an addiction of some sort. It's just too many demons to name. But but there are some energies that are that are watching you. There's some energies that are watching you. You could be watching you on, on social media, trying to see what your next move is, trying to see if there's any kind of weakness whatsoever, because they see your money growing. So they could be watching you on social media. So like, for instance, it could be somebody's ex-friend, ex-love interest, or ex-whomever that for you, they're looking to see what your next move is. So they see if they can take it, if they can take that idea and, and grow their money. And thus, you know, like I said, cause another nightmare for you. So that's what I'm saying for you. Like, or you may go to work and just start telling people, I hate this job and my manager doesn't like me. So I'm getting ready to start a, I'm about to start, you know, a such and such kind of business. And you telling somebody who may steal your idea and you wondering how in the world, you know, that person coming to work, they got, they pulling up in a brand new car. They don't, you go look at their social media page, the very same thing that you were telling them in your frustration and anger about a job with the business you were going to start. They, they making six figures easily. So source is saying there are people that's lurking to see what cracks are in your foundation. You need to learn how to keep some things close to the cuff. That's what source is trying to tell somebody, king and queen of wands. Your third eye is open. Queen of Wands came out twice. Source is saying remain happy, charismatic, and free around anybody who you feel like, you know, um, I'm tempted to vibrate low. I'm tempted to say or do something that could hurt somebody, that hurt their feelings, or, or come across as a person who has cracks in my foundation. See... The enemy knows what your, your insecurities are. So the enemy will use people who know what your insecurities are to see if there's any cracks in your foundation. You know how like some, for instance, somebody like break up with somebody and all of a sudden they don't even love the new person. They just want to put somebody on their social media page because, because they want to show the ex, Hey, I got somebody new and it's not you. And they look better than you doing, or they more handsome or they live in this kind of house and they got all of these other stuff above you. Right. But you already know that person well enough to know that they just using that person as a pawn. Source is saying to you, get focused. Third eye. Get that third eye open. Here we have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. 
clear messages are coming through to you that the enemy is trying to the enemy see how this enemy has the hand out this person right here is like come you know like everything is fine everything is fine like like i just mentioned somebody could have an idea for a business and that person while you're sitting there venting in the workplace about how you hate that job and you're that person's like well you can talk to me you can tell me libra yeah you know, what, what's going on well what happened that is not your friend <laughs> that is not your friend that is your colleague and you're like, well, I hate this job, my manager. And, you know, I was thinking about I was thinking about opening up an ice cream shop or I was thinking about starting a hair salon or, you know, an eyelash center or whatever, you know, or, or um, going into business with my friend and start a barbershop. Like I said before, you could be telling you could be telling somebody who is a, who who knows that the energy of money is all over you. You could be telling somebody who's jealous of you. So source is saying to you, if you're in a job that you hate then, you know, you look at the rest of your life, right? Could you do that job with your eyes closed? And are you mad at something else that's going on in your life? And, and those cracks are showing. So that's what I'm seeing for somebody. So you all have it under control. You, you have it under control. So like I said, try not to stress yourselves out over, you know, everything that's happening, you know, everything that is you know, everything that's happening all around you, because again, the devil card came out twice, which lets me know it's not people. That's the devil. It's a spirit, right? Of trying to appeal to your demons, your temptations, your fear, your doubt, your uncertainty about the next stage in your life. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Let's close it out. All right, let's close it out. Libras, let's close it out. Let's close it out. I do see love coming across somebody's path if that's what you want. And it's a very harmonious love. That's another reason why that's another reason why somebody needs to go ahead and, and close out some cycles of fear, doubt, uncertainty, and nourish your temple. Because you don't want to come across as, um, as, as uh, spiritually dehydrated where you say or do something that comes across as um, angry, bitter, uh, upset. And it can be in any area of your life where you feel spiritually dehydrated. So get around some friends. Here we have uh, 24. I am fertile in what seed I sow, for there's a reason to dance and drink upon the riches I receive. So, yeah, what seeds are you planting? It's harvest time. It's double harvest time for somebody. So it's time to plant the seeds that you want to grow. So expect powerful change. Expect powerful change because it's happening. It's already happening, Libra. It's already happening. Double leg, um, de double, um, double harvest time for somebody. You can wake up from a nightmare at any time. At any time. 19, I'm a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. And you shouldn't be. All right. Let's see what this card says. It is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do for yourself, which, which you're not willing to do yourself. That's for a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Ask yourself, do I lead by example? That's right. Let me read this again. It is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do yourself, right? And ask yourself, do I lead by example? Do I lead by example, right? So that difficult job that you're on, where you're saying from some some of the best leaders come out of the fact that they didn't they didn't have best uh, poor leaders at work. They you know you know you you somebody could be running a company and you could have learned from some very poor leadership at work. And it's like you know what, my key to success is to be totally different than that particular person that managed me in the workplace. They didn't have people skills. They talked to people any kind of way. I, all I need to do is the opposite of that. Be respectful and kind of people, create very firm boundaries, not afraid to enforce those boundaries, but respect people because everybody has uh, everybody has gifts and talents. Everybody has a purpose on this planet and every all of us can help each other, help better mankind. So that's going to be somebody's recipe for success in their business. So when you're going to work and you're dealing, you're under poor leadership at work and you're like, I can do this job with my eyes closed. I already know what I'm dealing with. So why am I putting all of my creativity, my energy, my emotions into that? If they cross a boundary disrespectful, I'm going to enforce the boundary. I'm going to have this time for us to have a conversation. If I need to file a report with HR, I'll do that too. But I'm not going to be disrespected. But I'm not putting all my energy into that. I'm focusing on. And again, if it's something in your personal life where some people have crossed boundaries, Libra, I need to enforce those boundaries too. I need my creativity. I need my emotions and my creativity to create the life that I know that I deserve, right? 
Last card and let's close it out. Last card and let's close it out. Let us close it out. Let us close it out. Wisdom, affirmations for wisdom. I am a lifelong learner. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. Divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. That is what I have for you, Libras, and I will see you all on Motivational Monday again. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.